So this is an attempt to answer the age-old question, can you play a GR300 and a GR33B at the same time? And the answer, as it turns out, is yes. Uh, there are a few things to keep in mind. I don't, I'm using a G303 guitar, and uh, the output, while perfectly calibrated for the GR300, is a little bit low for the GR33B. I suspect that the bass electronics have a slightly hotter output. And uh, the tracking for the GR33B because basically we're playing you know, an octave outside of its primary range, it's, it's pretty good. So uh, let's listen to hear what we have. This is, that's the GR33B. And this is the GR300. I'm gonna flip the switch here and uh, uh, mode in the middle position, so we've got a hex fuzz and synth. And then if we go over to the GR33B, we get the dual oscillator output. And uh, you can appreciate when you actually have both of the synths hooked up together, some of the things that makes the, that some of the things that make the GR33B special. For example, for envelope modulation, on the GR33B you have attack and decay control, whereas on the GR300 you only have attack. So how does that work out? Let's hit the switch. This will engage our envelope mod uh, modulation. So let's listen to the effect of being able to control both the attack and the decay on the filter. <laughs> And that uh, sharp release sound, well, we just can't get from the GR300 because we have no way to uh, change the decay on the GR300. Uh, Make the decay longer. And of course with the GR33B we have two sets of envelope controls, so uh, we can set one like we have now at the fairly fast attack and release, or we can select envelope filter setting B with a longer attack and release. Of course, the other big difference between the two synthesizers is the mode of the filter. So with the GR33B, we can choose between a 12 or minus 24 dB roll-off for the filter. <laughs> <laughs> 